Well, we've all been there. We've got our shiny new tank, which we know absolutely nothing about. And this is called doing the grind. So after having a chat with a good friend of mine, Tango Alpha, I decided to do a combined video. I was going to combine the IS-2 along with some useful hints and tips on how to cope with grinding these new tanks. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and as I said in the intro this is a combined video I'm going to look at the brand new tank I've got which is the IS-2 the tier 7 Chinese heavy tank along with grinding your new tank because it's something we all have to face and a lot of us struggle so what I generally do first and foremost is go here to the armor inspector now okay i've paid a few bits and bobs of money to get all of the all singing all dancing bows and whistles which is really cool and in my opinion if you like this game and you're serious about the game it's well worth the investment and i go here to check out what the armor on this thing is like i stick it in various different positions and as you see here this is the is2 and i faced off against a black prince which is the british tier 7 tank because it's going to come across one and as you can see I can see here that the armor on this thing is pretty meh it's not the best thing in the world then I go out in it and I'm quite lucky here I get one of my first battles is on Copperfield now I don't particularly like the IS-2 1945 which is the Russian equivalent so I was very skeptical about this tank and when I first get to grind a tank, I am very, very cautious indeed because I don't know how it's going to perform. I know how I can perform in the IS-2 1945 and I perform badly, so I've automatically got a disliking for this tank. I think it's just going to be a right pain. I've already got a preconception from playing the IS-2 1945. I know the HP isn't great. It's on the Chinese IS, it's 1,230. I know the DPM ain't great. On the Chinese IS, it's 1,900. I know the penetration is not great. You'll get about 175 off your standard AP, 250 off your AP, off your heat round, and a mere 61 off your heat. I also know that the damage it will dish out is pretty big. I mean, the average average on this thing is 400. But coupled with that, I know the reload time is a big balls ache. I mean, it's a whopping 14 seconds because I'm running it with calibrated showers, something I always do. Now, as you've seen so far, I've had a little bit of help, but I'm being very cautious. I told you, I've just rolled out in this thing. This is my shiny new tank. So I have no idea how it's going to perform. Like I said, I've already got the preconception it's going to be like the IS-2 1945, which I really don't like. So I automatically don't like this tank. Before I've even played it, I don't like it. And I've rolled my eyes and go, I've got to bloody grind it because I need the next tank. And I'm one of these strange players and I won't buy the next tank until I've got all the XP on the previous tank to buy it for basically nothing. And that's how I generally work, which is why I haven't grinded the full Chinese or French or Japanese tiers yet. I mean, don't forget, I started the game in 2014. I've got the Russian tiers almost, the American tiers almost, all the German and all the British, because I focused on the German and the British at that time. So this to me is, is not my highest priority but at some point and I put it off and I put it off at some point I've got to get round to grinding this thing now as you see here I've not done that badly in it so far I haven't killed anything it's been relatively decent it's not setting the world on fire from 1550 so 1564 damage I've bounced 220 and somebody's put a, a, a big shot into me and knocked 400 off me but I'm not used to the tank yet, as you saw there with the wild shot on the uh, on the HAL thing, which in any other tank that I'm used to, I would have probably got, but hey, it happens. So, you've got 
to be careful. There's no good getting your shiny new tank and running around the battlefield like an absolute crazy thing. And as you can see there, even the KV-1S is saying, wake up, IS-2. I mean, what, what more do you want me to do? I mean, the guy got wasted. It's not my fault he got wasted. It, it's as simple as that. And these things don't perturb me at the end of the day. Another wild shot on the chaffy. Now the chaffy's going to give me a hard time. And like I said, you know, the KV-1S is still going a ballistic. I don't know understanding why. It just is, but it doesn't phase me. I'm just going to do my, my tank. Get 380 damage, 1,876 uh, damage at the end of the day, and we win the game. And I finally get a kill in, in my new tank. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed about that. Okay, I get a third class and a bit of ribbons. I, I get some nice credits. And I'm the second uh, top damage machine there. I'm happy. So I play it again. And this time I roll out on mines. Because I'm really lucky. I've had Copperfield and I've had mines. Two particularly easy maps. And when you're getting to grind a new tank that you're unfamiliar with, it's nice to be given maps that are pretty simple. And on mines, you can, you know, there are great places to hide in your, if you're in your lumbering heavy with a 14 second reload. And here's one here, just hide behind this big lump of rock. Okay, I'm gonna push out a little bit. Gun depression on this thing is absolutely pants, but I get a nice 400 into the side of the Kuru. Okay, somebody shoots me from over there, bounces me. I think that you will find that's the SU-100. Bless him, he's not going to pet me from that distance. But fair enough. And now I can see a KB-2 coming. And I, you know, I'm now getting a little bit more used to the tank. I'm still not a fan of it. Don't get me wrong. I still don't particularly like this tank. I still think it's a bit meh because I don't like the reload. I don't particularly like the armor. I, and I'm still being incredibly cautious. And because I'm being cautious, I'm playing the tank conservatively. Okay, I know I can get the Kuru now. The M6, unfortunately, is going to give me a hard time. He's got better penetration. And look at it. I know I can't pen him. Look, he's a big red tomato. So I'm going to have to switch to the heat. And hopefully that's going to work. Yes, it does. And I get another bounce. How I bounced, I don't know. Because after looking at the armor inspector, I can't find any effective way to bounce shots on this thing other than pure blind luck. And again, I give the, uh, the M6 another one up its nose. The SU-100 concerns me, but he's gone, so I can sort of back away a bit. The M6 is not focused on me. He could have wiped me out effectively. Now he's gone. We've done 1,587 damage. We blocked 1,035. We got a kill. Not bad for, you know, a relatively low amount. It's not the second game. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's, it's, it's not my first game either. And, uh, you know, I was probably game 10 or something. So I'm starting to get more used to it. And as you see there, 1,587, nice credits again, top tier. We did okay, another third class. However, when you're doing the grind, it's not always gonna go to plan. Here we are on Himmelsdorf. Now, you know, I looked at the team and thought, yeah, we've got a good chance here. We've got some big guns, Panther II, IS-5, T-34. We got some good tanks here. And I'm just gonna, you know, hang around with these two bloody heavy tanks and we should be okay. I can stick my south hall down to an extent and, you know, nothing's really gonna bother me or concern me. All the reds are over there, I can see them on the mini-map. Okay, we're in a good position. I don't really have much of a problem. Oh, there's an IS-5, maybe I can get something into him. Yeah, get a nice 387 roll into the IS-5. Three, sorry. And then boom, he, he wastes me there puts a massive roll into me which makes me back off completely because I'm still being cautious in the tank I'm still grinding it I'm still getting used to it I'm still nervous with it and you know, at the end of the day I want to do my part I want to play the tank effectively and I don't want to particularly lose my win rate I don't want to particularly get blasted oh and look at that no pen unbelievable so yeah I've got that long reload again the IS-3 is now going to come after me but thankfully the T-34 comes to save my day which is nice. I've only done 367 damage. Can I get the IS-3 this time? Yes, I can. Nice 371 into that. Yeah, I'm starting to chill out now, starting to enjoy the game. And I'm taking my eye off what is going on because now I'm focused on the tank and no longer on the gameplay, which is a big mistake because we have lost two tanks. They've only lost one. 
they are in a commanding position. We have now lost three tanks, and I'm still not focused on the gameplay. Whence the reason why I'm rolling around over here thinking, yep, yeah, we're in a good position, we've just wasted the IS-3, everything's good, or then I look up and see, oh no, we're in a really bad position. We are three tanks down, the IS-5 is a one-shot. I have got really pants armor against some of these big tanks. What are we going to do? And now I'm starting to go into panic mode. And as you can see, I'm not helping the IS-5. I'm, I'm doing completely the opposite. I'm backing away. I want to protect my tank. And this is natural. This is what people normally do when they're in their new shiny tank. They don't, if they're not yellowing, they're playing too conservatively. And here I am playing far too conservatively. I'm not helping my team. I am more concerned about me being killed. I now see the T-34, put one into him, but it bounces. What the heck? Well, it happens. So I'm backing away again and I'm panicking because I'm losing the plot because I know we're now losing and I, I know I'm in trouble. I know I haven't got a great tank. I know everything's going, falling apart and I don't know what to do. I, my mind is gone a complete blank and we get wasted. I do 1,461 damage. That, you know, okay, I was the top tier tank, but that's not the point here. The point is, I lost the plot. And I lost the plot because it's a new tank. And you will face that. You will lose the plot. Now, I went straight back out again after that game here into vineyards. And I took time to just compose myself. I can see all the reds are over there, so I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm safe going in to see. Then all of a sudden, if you notice, a red has popped. And I know he's popped. And there's the Tankenstein. And I'm like, ooh, Tankenstein, so let's track him. Didn't mean to track him, but we got lucky. He gets a shot onto me. I'm like, ow, that hurt. And again, I'm now completely unfocused on the battle. And I'm now focused on me in my tank with the Tankenstein which you shouldn't do. I mean, I, I, I've suddenly lost the ability to play Blitz because I'm in a new tank. And this happens to a lot of people in their new tanks. They're more concerned about their new tank than playing the game. And it will happen to you. So what you need to do is just take a deep breath. And now all of a sudden my head kicks back in again. And I know, play the game properly. Back away. Don't get drawn into a fight that you may not win. And I'm now busy looking at that mini-map and looking at my team, and I know we've got an extra tank up there. I managed to sucker the Tankenstein around the corner. I know there's an AMX this behind me. He's not going to hurt me as much as he thinks he will. So I can take him. He's not a problem. And I'm going to stick an HE into him, and I only get a, a low roll. Now I've got the Tankenstein, so I'm going to get up close and personal. I don't know if that would work with this tank. To be honest with you, I'm trying new things. But I can see on the minimap, and I can see that we're seven against two. I am going to have some good support with me very, very, very shortly. And lo and behold, there is the support. It comes in the form of a T-34 Rudy who saves the day. I bounce a shed load there, 1,190, uh, 1 and I'd only do 1,299 damage. I get a third class, but more importantly, I get an understanding that I can get up close to a Tankenstein and bounce. Last game of the day, I rolled out onto Normandy. It was a supremacy game, as you can see, like the last game. And on Normandy, I think, oh, wow, well, I'm in this IS-2. It's best for me to go to the C cap because then I've got a little bit of cover. And I know that, if they go to, I know that they're not going to get shots on me from D. They're at D, and I know if I park here, I'm pretty safe at the moment. I can cap out, and again, I can play slightly conservatively, because I'm still getting used to the tank. And it's a frustrating thing, grinding tanks, because you won't always play. Well, oh, all of a sudden, an SU-100 comes a corner, and I get really lucky. Massive bounce of 400, and I managed to stick a shot into him. Now, I, my reload is okay. I, if I stay around here, he can't really hurt me, and so I'm going to pull around the corner again and try and take him out, and yes, I can get him. 
the IS from the Russian uh, tank puts one into me, but again, he only bounces two. I'm trying to wiggle and jiggle because I know the armor on this is a bit near. Um, so now I'm looking at the IS, we get another good 400 into him. So, so far I've done 1,127, I've bounced 740, I'm no longer bouncing. Um, I've killed a tank and I've capped a base. I'm getting more used to this tank as it goes along. But don't get me wrong guys, uh, you know, I'm still getting wasted here. I'm, I'm still not playing the tank as well as I should be. But this is like, what, game 20? It's still a new tank. And I'm still managing to put shots in, and I get really lucky again. I'm only on 77 hit points, and thankfully somebody comes along and wastes the IS for me. I've done 1,524 damage, I've blocked 740, I took a base and I killed a tank. I'm not setting the world on fire, of course I'm not. What I am doing, I'm learning about my tank. And that's the thing with the grind. It's, you, 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 it's a new tank, it's not going to play like the last tank. You may think it will, but it won't. It's going to frustrate you, it's going to annoy you, you're going to lose games. You're not going to be getting your masteries, but like I said in one of my top tip videos, don't always aim for a mastery, guys. Aim to survive the battle. The longer your gun is on the battlefield, the more chance you have of winning the game. And it's as simple as that. And I get another third class and another load of credits, which isn't too bad. And I wasn't the top tier, but I'm pretty close to the top. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Anyway, I hope this has been slightly useful, but just in a recap, when you get your shiny new tank and you've got to grind it, as we all have to, try and get at least 100% 100 crew skills. It costs next to nothing to, to do your crew skills. Get them. Try and unlock as much equipment as humanly possible. I know it costs money, but do it, because the more equipment you have unlocked, the better the tank will be. Do your research on the tank. Use the free tools like Blitzhanger, and if it's anything but a tier 9 and 10, then get onto Armour Inspector because your pen values and the Armour Inspector part for the tanks up to tier 9 are free. And not only that, for an outlay of what, I think it's about $12.5 roughly, you can get all the things opened on Armour Inspector. And trust me, it's really useful because if you know what the armor's like in certain positions, it allows you to play your tank a lot better. And if you're serious about this game and enjoy this game and love this game, believe me, it's a wow worth investment. And taking your time to check out Armour Inspector along with the stats in Blitzhanger, it's really worth its weight in gold. The other thing I want to say about when you're grinding these tanks, take your time, guys. Don't rush in. Only fools rush in, and you're going to hate the tank. And if you're struggling with it, go to a tank that you can play and that you love playing. Play that for a few games, and then come back to it. Nobody says you have to grind it in a day. You don't. Take your time. And the longer you take your time, the more used to the tank you'll become, and the more fun you'll get out of it and the less annoyance you'll get from the game itself. And on that note, I hope this has been slightly useful. Uh, there's a lot of new players out there who are grinding, so hopefully it appealed to them. And, you know, by all means, guys, comment below, like if you want to, subscribe if you can, it costs you nothing, as I keep saying. By all means, send me your replays of you going out in your tanks to fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And until the next time, I will say my usual, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Fun and happiness. So I hope this has been useful, guys. I mean, it's, I've tried to cover two topics with one stone. I, I, um, hopefully the message has gone across that when you're doing the grind, slow down. But once again, thanks for watching and see you all soon.